Hey guys, I'm Melissa Whaley and today I'm going to be comparing the old wave interface with the new wave interface because this can get kind of confusing for people. If you signed up for wave recently, you have a totally different app than people who have had an account for a while. So I want to show you guys the differences. We're going to jump into screen share and just show you guys around and see what you think of the old versus the new. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at today is comparing the user interface between older wave accounts and newer wave accounts. So about the beginning of 2018, wave released its new software. Now remember, this is all web based, so it can get a little confusing. So anyone who signed up for an account in 2018 or beyond is on the new interface. Anyone who signed up pre 2018 has had a wave account for a long time is still on the old interface. Now in October of 2018, which is right now, if you're watching this when this comes out, they released their new branding and a new look. However, there's still the two user interfaces. So there's the old wave and the new wave. And I want to show you just some of the nuance differences between the two so you don't get confused when you're trying to navigate Wave and figuring out, wait a minute, which version am I on? So this dashboard I'm on right now is the old Wave. So this is a Wave account I have had for years. I have been working with Wave since 2010, maybe 2009, I'm not sure. It's been a long time, practically since they came out. They've come a long way, let me tell you. So this is the old wave. You'll notice on the dashboard, it starts with the income and expense. It has your bank accounts, and then you can scroll down and see different snapshot. On the side, the navigation is generally the same on both. Uh, the top level menus are going to be the same and then you're going to have this new wave plus which is their premium offering integrations and settings you'll also be able to toggle between all the different businesses you have access to um, i have a lot because i help people and you have this nice um, quick button so you can do things from right here in the dashboard now let's flip over to the new wave look so this is the new wave interface. So if you signed up again after 2018, this is what it's going to look like. Here's what you're going to notice. Cash flow is going to be the top level report here. Then profit and loss. And then the other payables owing, net income, expenses. So this cash flow is a big thing they added to the new wave. Again, the inner the top level menu bars over here are going to be about the same you can have your bank accounts connected here we've got the quick add button there and then it's got some things you can suggested things to do now this is a much newer account i created so it doesn't have a lot of data in it so jumping back to the old wave is we've got sales purchases accounting banking payroll and reports now, most of the time, we're going to be doing things here in transactions. So this is what the transaction screen looks like in the older interface. OK, so we've still got our filters up here at the top. We've got our four buttons, upload a bank statement, connect to bank, add expense, add income. If you've seen some of my older wave videos, this looks prettier but it's still the exact same buttons and drop down menus and then you're gonna have all your different transactions in one big long register you have the verify button and then you've got the more thing there so you can change things up you can click on a transaction and click show details it'll add show you the description and allow you to make changes to it that's the old interface. Let's flip over to the new interface where you still go to accounting and transactions. 
But now you see it looks quite different here. Now, I don't have a bank account. I only have a PayPal account connected to this one, but we've got the filter by account is here. It shows the balance of these accounts and it also has money in transit and the balance of all your accounts. You can add a new account right here, which is really cool because you don't have to go to the chart of accounts anymore to add an account. And you can sync any uh, online banking right from here. Now we've still got add income, add expense, and then we've got more. We can actually add journal transactions, which is fancy accountant stuff. So don't try that at home. Uh, you can again connect your bank or you can upload a bank statement manually. So if you have a CSV or maybe a um, Quicken file, you can upload it that way. Now it has this filter. So this is where you can filter by category, status, type, that's uh, deposit, withdrawal, or journal, cool. Date range, it has some set default date ranges. Look, months, you don't have to sit here and click around to get to the month anymore. And then you apply those and oh my God, you guys, it has search. You have no idea how exciting this is. This has been one of the things that has been missing from Wave that was literally the difference, the biggest difference between Wave and something like QuickBooks is the fact that you can search. So now you can search if you're on the new interface. Amazing. Other big things that have been added to the new interface that don't exist on the old interface, reconciliation. So it used to be on the old wave, you would have to do this thing called verify from the transaction screen. And that would basically allow you to do what we refer to as a reconciliation. What a reconciliation is, is basically making sure everything in your accounting software matches your bank statements. So you're checking things off and making sure the balances match and all the transactions match. This is an important step in accounting, but that's for another video. So this is a huge, huge asset to the new wave. Um, the other big change are in reports. So now we've got your normal profit and loss or income statement. They've actually given it the American profit and loss now. It used to only be called income statement. We've got the balance sheet. So again, this tells you whether your business is, has a uh, positive value or negative value. Do you have more debt or do you have more assets? I know, I'm talking accountant to you. And this is another huge asset and big bonus in the new version is the cash flow report. So what is a cash flow report you ask? Well, this shows you how much money you brought in and how much money you went that went out over a period of time and not in the sense of how much income and expenses, but how your money moved. So this is extremely helpful to people like online business owners who are doing launches. So you may have a launch twice a year, once a year, once a quarter, and that's where your big chunks of revenue, your income, you may get a five or six figure launch during that time period, but then you'll have months and months where you're not launching. So money's not flowing in as quickly as it is during a launch month. So understanding your cash flow helps you know how to make that big launch money stretch longer. Or maybe you're a photographer and you have wedding season. So that is a cool thing about cash flow reports. Uh, more to come on this in the future. So keep your eyes out for that. And basically beyond that, everything is generally the same. You know, they're still beta testing things like checkouts, which allows you to connect wave payments on your website. Um, invoices, recurring invoices, customer statements, customers, all that. Um, most people don't use bills. Some people use receipts, vendors. And then on banking, it's basically your bank connections and then your payouts if you use wave payments which if you're using Wave, I suggest using Wave Payments because it makes invoicing a lot easier. The integration menu is the same. And the, so we still got the same three core integrations, PayPal, Shoebox, and Etsy. Um, you can also now really do some cool stuff with Zapier. They've had Wave in Zapier before, but I think they really upped their, um, 
connections and you can create some really cool stuff, especially with CRMs and Wave, uh, email marketing, e-commerce. I mean, this is just really cool. So you could go off on a whole thing about Zapier and Wave, which I could. Um, settings have not really changed much. This is where you come in and just do your little basic tweaking. Uh, you can, um, if you do payroll, if you have staff or you are an S Corp and are paying yourself payroll, you can also add additional users. So where it used to be collaborators, it's now users. This is where you would invite team members or invite your bookkeeper or accountant. So you've got now two role, two key roles. Editor means that they can um, edit the accounting tab, which is important and all that. Uh, viewer is someone like you have a board member, like nonprofits, they can come in and just view things but not actually change any of the data. So those are, are your two options for users. And that's the big difference. If we go back and look at the old wave, we can see here, you know, there's no uh, reconcile tab. That's still verify is still the way that you do it on the old wave. And then here in reports, We'll see, we just have balance sheet, income statement, which is also the same as a profit and loss, and your other reports that have been available for a long time. And in settings, they're still referred to, I believe, as, oh, they switched it to users. So that's now users instead of collaborators. And we've downgraded to so now in users again same thing on both new and old interface editor or viewer are your options and all of this is basically the same so those are the big differences let me know what your thoughts are in the comments do you like the new wave? Do you miss the old wave? What's your favorite? Let me know.